And now, here to entertain you all, because every day he's hustling. Side Hustle Cinema. Welcome back to the channel, Side Hustle Cinema here. Thanks for clicking on this video. It's a brand new week, so that means another physical media report is coming out. Uh, this week's releases, well, there's not many. Uh, looking through, you know, Blu-ray.com at all the new stuff coming out, and uh, it's a pretty short list, like only like 15, 20 titles at, at most. Maybe not even that many. So uh, we won't have much to talk about when it comes to that, but there was quite a bit of um, rumors, some pre-order stuff, uh, a lot of horror movie news that came out this week. So, you know, we definitely have a lot of things to talk about. Also, I ran that slipcover contest last week. Uh, thanks to everyone who, um, you know, participated in that. Uh, we'll announce the winner of that. Arrow announced their May release schedule, so we'll we'll dive into um, to those releases. All that and a whole lot more on the latest edition of See You Next Tuesday. And before we get into some horror movie news, let me go ahead and uh, announce the contest winner for the uh, the slipcover. And so what I did was I went to, um, it's a YouTube comment uh, picker. You know, it's free, it's right there on the web. So I went to their website, uh, you just load in the video that you um, want to pick the comments from. But I did record, uh, you know, the video here. I, you know, picked, went ahead and picked the winner. The contest ended on Friday. And you see how it works here on screen. It just pulls up all the comments from that video. You know, you got your keywords selected. I filtered out my comments. And then you just go ahead and, and pick the winner. And it's going to randomly pick from one of those comments. And just like that, we had our first uh, first winner of you know a custom slipcover, and it's Daniel Hernandez. Congratulations, Daniel! <laughs> uh, hit me up on uh, Instagram at uh, Side Hustle Cinema, or if you don't have uh, Instagram, you can always uh, use my email. It's on the uh, About section of my YouTube page here. And you can get in touch with me uh, that way. You know that's fine. Either way, and uh, yeah, you let me know what you uh, what you want me to make you, and uh, I'll get that right out to you. And thanks to everyone who participated, and and to the new subscribers that I got from this contest. Uh, you know that's that's amazing. I really do uh, appreciate it. Appreciate all the support. And um, yeah, so let's uh, let's go ahead and run the contest back. We're gonna go ahead and do it again. Might as well. It doesn't really cost anything hardly. Just a few dollars for shipping. And this time, let's let's try to get 15 entries. Let's let's set the bar not that high. I don't think 15 entries. Uh, like I said before, if you're not really into slip covers, go ahead and enter the contest anyway. Uh, I could send you a digital code, or you know, I'm sure I can find something that uh, you know you might be into. So uh, go ahead and enter that contest anyway. And you know, again, unfortunately, I got to keep it to the U.S. Uh, residents only, just because of that shipping cost. I do apologize for that. Um, you know, to all the great people who subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, from different areas, you know, you guys are awesome too. Uh, but, you know, that's, well, you guys are used to it. <laughs> so again, the contest will run until Friday. Uh, we'll announce the winner on next Monday's show. And the rules are the same. Just like the video, comment, uh, anything, and then just put the word slipcover or slipcovers in there. Either one's fine. And then also, you know, just make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. That that's all you got to do. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll pick another winner next week. So we're gonna run it back. 
And thanks again for everyone who participated, everyone who subscribed. And congratulations, uh, Daniel Hernandez. Um, you're the lucky winner. All right, and with that out of the way, now we can get on to my favorite segment of the week. Let's talk about some horror movie news. And now for some horror movie news. A couple of weeks ago, uh, we talked about Chucky Season 1 coming out on physical media and how it wouldn't have a slipcover. But we just got the announcement that uh, the UK is actually getting a really nice set called the Good Guy Edition of Chucky Season 1. And this is a great looking set. And it's going to run you like $41 if you can get it uh, from like uh, Zavi. They have it on their website. Uh, the bad news is this one is um, region locked. So it's region B. You know, so if you wanted it here in the States, uh, you would have to have the, um, you know, a region free player. So you can get that standard edition on April 25th with no slipcover and pay $25 or you can wait till May 2nd, pay $41 and pick up a lenticular slip box and a book and some art cards. Either way you go, I'm just glad that uh, we got Chucky coming on physical media. Uh, season 1 was great, looking forward to Season 2. We got another cool announcement that came out this week. Uh, any of you that are fans of the Steelbooks for Friday the 13th, and then we got Friday the 13th Part 2, well, good news. May 10th, we're going to be getting uh, Part 3 on Steelbook. It's been a while since they, you know, have released one of these, and... Um, I wasn't sure if they were going to release any more. It, it didn't look like it for a while. So it's nice that, you know, we finally uh, get the third one. Hopefully they continue this. I mean, you can't have too many copies of Friday the 13th, can you? <laughs> and speaking of really cool looking still books, uh, another announcement we had this week was uh, Cabin in the Woods is getting a still book. Uh, this is going to be one of those really awesome Lionsgate Steelbooks. And it comes out on April 19th. And, uh, you know, you got pre-orders going on right now on Best Buy. And, yeah, this, this looks pretty sweet. Uh, you know, it's a very cool design. You got the little uh, slip cover, you know, hiding the control room. I'll be I'll be double dipping for this one. That, that must say how good it is because I usually... Won't double dip for these things. But yeah, I'll be picking this one up. And also announced this week, we've got uh, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, it's getting a 4K uh, steelbook. Uh, this is a German release. It's from uh, Turbine Media Group. And it's, um, you know, it's a, it's a German company that puts out some really good stuff. I have one of theirs that I picked up just recently and this is actually Leatherface uh, this is 4k and uh, it looks and sounds amazing it's uh, this one is just HDR 10 but it does have a 7.1 uh, DTS audio mix and it's it's great and so that's the same company that's putting out uh, this new one and um, Looks like you get four slip cases that you can choose from that go over the uh, steel book, and it's got a you know a, a booklet in there. I'm sure that'll be in German, and uh, you know some other discs. And uh, this one actually has Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos, so that's that's really cool. It's it's limited to 550. And that's probably each one of the slip cases. That's usually the way they do it. Uh, each you know individual one would be like 550. Not many of these to uh, go around, but uh, it comes out May 25th. So um, anyone interested in that, you know, you're gonna have to uh, import it. But you know, it looks really cool. I'm gonna try to get one. Um, not sure what slip cover I'll go with. Doesn't really matter to me. They all look pretty good. 
And on April 18th, uh, Second Sight is going to be putting out The Witch on 4K. It's a limited edition. A uh, really nice box set. Comes with a rigid slip case with uh, brand new artwork by Peter Diamond. And it comes with like a full size uh, 150 page hardback book. It's got a bunch of essays in it. It's got uh, some production steals, uh, costume designs, uh, production design gallery. Whole bunch of stuff. I mean, it's uh, it looks like a really nice set. And you also get six uh, collector's art cards in there as well. Not sure how much that set's going for, but I, I would say it's pretty pricey. And you couldn't have a horror news segment without uh, talking about an RLJE release. And on March 1st, we're getting Demonic on Blu-ray. And this one is a Neil Blomkamp movie for all you Neil Blomkamp fans. <laughs> I watched the trailer for this one. Uh, it didn't really look that great to me. It looked like there was a lot of uh, green screen uh, kind of effects going on. So I'm, I'm not sure about this one. And Arrow Video released their May release schedule. And there's a few horror titles in those releases. And one of those releases is Candyman 4K. And it comes out on May 23rd. But will it'll have a you know brand new 4K restoration from the original negative, and the audio will feature Dolby Atmos. And if that's not enough to entice you, this one actually has two cuts of the film. Uh, it's got the U.S. you know rated R version, and it's got the original U.K. theatrical cut that features alternate and more graphic footage. And this is one of those nice collector sets, you know, it comes with the slip box, it's got a 40 page booklet, and there's going to be uh, six postcard um, size art cards. Also coming out um, in May from Arrow, actually it comes out on May 17th, is Girls Night Out. And this one's got a new 2K restoration from the, you know, original 35mm vault elements. And we'll have the, the original uh, uncompressed uh, mono audio. So giant thumbs down already for the audio. Another mono mix. Thank you. Um, but, you know, it looks kind of cool. It's an older slasher movie. It's about a, a killer who, you know, stalks a bunch of these college girls. And he's dressed up as a giant teddy bear. <laughs> uh, I've actually never seen it. Um, it looks kind of interesting though. I, I do kind of dig the cover art on here. So, um, you know, I'll probably check it out and, you know, I'm sure it'll be goofy. <laughs> I'll talk about the rest of the uh, Arrow releases here in just a minute because we got a couple more good ones to talk about. But I had one more piece of horror movie news to discuss first. And that is a rumor that uh, came out from, you know, the, uh, from Geek Gab or, you know, the Disc Father, I think he's called now. And uh, this is going to be Fright Night in 4K. Now, I hope this is true. You know, I did a video not too long ago of some uh, 4K movies I would love to see uh, happen. And this was one of those, you know. And this is big on a lot of people's lists. But this is one of those rumors where I'm very skeptical of because, you know, there's no studio attachment here. There's no date. There's no month. You know, all we got is a very vague, you know, 2022. And, uh, you know, when it's this vague, we've seen this before, you know, and a lot of times it doesn't happen. And we've been really striking out with vampire movies, you know. Um, last June we had the announcement for uh, Near Dark and that hasn't happened haven't heard anything about that one since and then of course we had those Lost Boys rumors um, you know every couple of months it seems that you get a new rumor that it's coming but still no release date on that one and then, who knows what happened to uh, From Dust Till Dawn. You know, we were on the verge of getting it, and it just never happened. And then it went dead silent. 
as to what's going on with that. I do feel pretty conf confident that we're, you know, we're going to get uh, from dusk till dawn. I'm pretty sure we'll get Lost Boys as well. Uh, maybe this year, maybe not. Who knows? But uh, near dark, I'm I'm a little more skeptical on that one. And um, this one, I'm hopeful, but also kind of skeptical. The ultimate dream would probably be for Scream Factory to get a hold of this one and do a really nice, you know, 4K, uh, you know, little box set or, you know, a nice uh, packaging on this one. And then also, you know, kind of like they did with Alligator and Alligator 2, uh, go ahead and bring Fright Night 2 in there. You know, this thing doesn't even have a Blu-ray, you know, other than a bunch of, you know, convention bootlegs that everyone has. <laughs> <sighs> including me so hopefully you know fingers crossed hopefully we'll get a lot of vampire movies in 2022 and that's going to do it for the horror movie news this week now let's talk about some other releases that are coming out and to finish up those arrow releases um for may on may 24th we're getting the one armed boxer Looks like a pretty cool, you know, martial arts flick. It's getting a new 2K restoration. And I definitely like that artwork on there. That's, that's, uh, it's pretty interesting looking. And the big announcement that, uh, from Arrow that had everyone pretty excited this week was on uh, May 24th. Uh, we are going to be getting Wild Things in 4K. Nev Campbell and Denise Richards. Um, this was this is a it's a good movie, it's, and you know you've got like a little box set that's coming out, and then there's some uh, steel books available. Looks like the UK will be getting a different steel book than what we'll be getting here in the states, and then you got the uh, the normal arrow you know packaging with the slip box, and the nice little set there. Um, I'm probably going to go with the slip box more than likely. I'm not really a steelbook collector per se the blu-ray just had a um re-release here just like a week or two ago and they had it on sale for like ten dollars i know a few people that picked it up and were kind of upset you know because they just picked it up on blu-ray and then of course the uh, 4k announcement comes out so um i almost picked it up myself because i don't i don't have it in the collection yet um, so that's, you know, it's kind of cool. Dodged a bullet on that one. And a few weeks ago, we talked about Beverly Hills Cop 2 coming out on 4K. And we now, uh, have the official date on that one. And it's going to be May 17th. We also just got the official announcement that on May 3rd, we're going to be getting Smoke and Aces on 4K. And uh, we're getting the, both the uh, slipcover edition and a Best Buy exclusive steel book. And that artwork has been revealed. Uh, looks pretty awesome. You know, we talked about this one a couple weeks ago as well. And also some sort of, you know, late breaking news. I just got this message that uh, uh, the 1955 uh, classic Night of the Hunter uh, is going to be coming to 4K from Kino Lorber. And I don't have an official release date on this one as of yet. But that's uh, that's some pretty big news. And according to this post, it's going to have uh, Dolby Vision uh, on it as well, which is awesome to hear. And the Warner Archive Collection has announced two April releases. And they're both Kevin Costner movies that came out in 1985. And we have American Flyers and Fandango. And now let's go ahead and take a look at everything that's coming out tomorrow on the latest edition of See You Next Tuesday. And I told you at the beginning of the, of the video, there is not much coming out tomorrow. So it is going to be a very quick segment. Uh, you know, since I've started my channel and I've been doing a physical media report, this is the fewest amount of releases I've ever seen come out in a week. It's it's pretty crazy.
But we'll go ahead and jump into it. Probably the biggest release of the week. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's Belfast. Uh, that's from Universal Studios. It's on Blu-ray. And of course that movie's been, you know, getting a lot of critical praise uh, for that movie. Um, sounds like an interesting movie. I might, uh, might have to check that one out. I don't think I'm going to buy a copy, but I might might have to rent that one or something. Uh, we're also getting the uh, James Bond Daniel Craig collection tomorrow. These are all the Daniel Craig movies on 4K. That one's coming out from Warner Brothers. Also coming from Warner Brothers, we have the Batman, the complete series on Blu-ray. And this is the, uh, you know, the animated uh, series. And that is uh, five seasons. Decal Releasing is bringing us Flea on Blu-ray. Acorn Media is releasing Manhunt, the Night Stalker, Series 2 on Blu-ray. Well Go USA is putting out the pilot of Battle for Survival on Blu-ray. RLJE is putting out I Am Mortal on Blu-ray. Warner Brothers is also putting out uh, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? The Complete Series on Blu-ray. Uh, I have that Haunted House edition of that one. Uh, it's, a, it's a really great set. Um, if you can still get the Haunted House, though, I would go with that one. Full Moon Features is releasing uh, Prehysteria 2 on Blu-ray. And the last release I have to talk about is uh, Screen Media is releasing Stoker Hills on Blu-ray. And that is pretty much it. There's a few anime titles and, and things like that coming out. But that is pretty much all the releases that's coming out tomorrow. It seems like it would be a nice time to either lay low and just save some money or go back and, you know, fill in some of those gaps in your collection and, uh, you know, pick up some older titles, some things that maybe you missed out on. I don't think I'm picking up any of these titles. I already have all the James Bond movies and I also have the Scooby-Doo collection, so I think I'm good. And in case you guys missed it, uh, I did a 4K disc review for Madman, uh, the new release from Vinegar Syndrome. I uh, had a lot of fun with this one. It was a fun time reviewing it. It was a fun time watching it. And if you want to hear about the transfer of this one and get my thoughts on the movie, uh, spoiler free, this is my first time watching it, uh, go ahead and check out that video. I'll put a card up here and uh, I'll uh, leave a card at the end of the video so you can go check out that one. also did a 4K review of the Running Man uh, media book that was the German release. Had a good time with that one as well. So go check out some of my 4K reviews. I've been having a lot of fun with those. Uh, plan on doing probably a couple more this week. Well that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it hit that like button. If you're unsubscribed to the channel, I invite you to do so. And as always, leave a comment about anything you want to. So until next time, stay safe, have fun, keep watching those movies, and I'll see you next Tuesday.